Last June, the Celtics made headlines when they traded their number one pick, bumping down to the third pick and selecting Jason Tatum out of Duke. Perhaps Danny Ainge has some sort of crystal ball, because not many people would have predicted that Fultz's season would go down in flames, while Jason Tatum has been nothing short of a revelation. This kid just turned 20 years old, and yet has already become the playoff go-to guy for the Celtics when the shot clock is running down. And he isn't shying away or getting caught off guard having to toss up a bad shot. He clearly wants the ball in these situations and has the requisite skills to isolate off the dribble, blow by his man, and find shots from all over the floor. His calm under fire is remarkable for someone so young, and he's making some of the best defenders in the league look absolutely foolish with these moves. He's got good shot selection and doesn't try to force the issue, content to keep the ball moving and then finding ways to clear up space, like this tough shot deep in the fourth from behind the line. With his mid-range game, he's a bit of a throwback to guys like Carmelo Anthony, but it feels like he's got more athletic ability to unlock, which will serve to eclipse Melo's career eventually. Looking at his performance in the playoffs, there are more impressive numbers to throw out. While his shooting percentage has dropped, He's gotten more aggressive in taking shots, and not only has his scoring risen dramatically from the regular season, but he's taking two more free throws per game and raised his assists per 36 dramatically. Interestingly enough, he's gotten a few of his assists simply by being aggressive, then losing control of his handle. But he sticks with it, doesn't force anything, and gives the ball up to the easiest pass to open teammates for very good shots. He also plays well in the moment, able to shift quickly from scorer mode to facilitator, threading the ball through seams that indicate a high basketball IQ and a stat that I'm sure will continue to improve for him as he progresses through his career. Two areas he's really killed it in, in the playoffs, pick and roll and post up. Unfortunately, he should be getting more of both of these. His footwork down low in the post is already off the charts able to make good defenders look stupid as he utilizes pivots and turns, change of direction, and hesitations to throw his man completely off balance and out of position. According to Synergy, he's gotten 12 post-ups in 8 games, but this number should be higher and hopefully Brad Stevens can begin to shape the offense and run more actions to get him low post touches. The pick and roll is another weapon for him, particularly pistol action where he can get a running start into it then turn the corner and get right to the basket for strong finishes around the rim. But he's gotten more than his share of vicious three balls when teams give him too much daylight coming off of a strong ball screen. These shots will serve to open everything up for him, not just drives, but assists to the roll men too, as he's developing a little something with Al Horford cutting to the basket. So you can give the Rookie of the Year award to Ben Simmons, and also claim that Donovan Mitchell really should have won it. Those guys are fantastic players with long careers ahead of them, but both are almost two years older. While Simmons can match his size and length, with Tatum's ability to shoot the ball, he led all rookies in three-point percentage by a wide margin, it gives him an added dimension to his game that Simmons can only pray for at this juncture in his career. Add to that a growing ability to make impactful plays on the defensive end, and Tatum becomes the bedrock of the Celtics title aspirations for years to come. Sports fans, make sure to hit the subscribe button and adjust your settings so you can get notified immediately when we drop another great NBA video. Let us know how you feel with a thumbs up and a comment. After all, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You win.